This is problem number five from practice 6-2-B, still with solving with substitution. Um, and again, the first thing that you're always looking for in one of these problems is for one of the variables to be by itself, okay? For one of the variables to be isolated. And I have that here. I have y by itself, okay? I don't have that in both equations like I did in the first three problems on this page, but that's okay. I have y by itself right here. That's all I need. So I'm going to take what y is equal to, this right here, and I'm going to put it in place of y in this top equation. And this, unlike number four, if you've already looked at number four, um, I don't have to worry about parentheses because this is just a plus out here, and adding something doesn't make you have to distribute anything. It's only if this were a minus that I have to worry about that. Okay? So when I rewrite that top equation now, it is going to say 2x plus x minus 7 in place of y equals 8. And now I can solve that equation for x. Okay, So I'm going to combine the 2x and the x, and I get 3x minus 7 equals 8. I'm going to add 7. So 3x equals 15, divide by 3, divide by 3, x equals 5. Okay, now I need to go back and solve for y. And I'm going to plug this x value back in. The easiest place to plug it in is going to be somewhere that's already solved for y, so that my answer will just come out y equals something. Okay, I see that right here y equals x minus 7. So I'm going to put that right in there. And that's going to give me y equals 5 minus 7, which means y equals negative 2. And then for my final coordinate, 5 comma negative 2. Okay, here's your final answer.